Yeah, I'm disappointed. Yeah, give Bradley all the credit in the world. We knew we were a very evenly matched team, and it was going to come down to the mentality piece. And Bradley beat us because mentally, you know, they did what they had to do. Mentally, you know, we had breakdowns, and that's the kind of stuff, you know. I think we thought Bradley came in, stayed focused, poised, but to me, we beat ourselves because of the mistakes that we made. Um, can you just talk about the defense? I mean, Bradley came in committing turnovers, but we did a good job of forcing them into turnovers, 16 steals. It's the most we've had this season. We tied yeah, the season I high mean, early. You know, that was our defensive game plan was to get a lot of pressure on the ball, take them out of what they want to do. Um, you know, and, and, you know, our 1-3-1, one, one, I thought really mixed, you know, that, that really stymied them. They had a hard time. You know, they're a half-court offensive team, and we were able to take them out. You know, with that one-three-one one zone too. So, um, yeah. You know, but no talk, consolation. Talk a little about Angela's play. She had 25 points at six three-pointers, um, and hit a big three-pointer towards the end of overtime, and, and yeah, played 44 yeah. minutes. Big three-pointer. I mean, it was great. You know, I mean, it won't shot clock winding down, and she knocks it down, and. Then we give up four. I mean, we were up four, and I just felt like we lost our focus, you know, and didn't finish it. Um, but, you know, learning. We got a lot of learning to do. This was a good Bradley team that, uh, you know, very comparable to the Horizon League. And these are the kind of teams we're going to see in our league. So we've got to take this, you know, and uh, learn from it and grow and just keep getting better. But, you know, it's plays like that that do make a difference, but, you know, we just got to tighten things up. Yeah. You still have a few good things you got to take away from this. You're down, down. I do. Well, I, I, I would assume so. I mean, you went. I know. What was that? A six or a seventeen two or twenty five five run or something like that in the first half. Can you just talk a little bit about the adjustments you guys made there? You know, we just changed it up defensively. We gave them a different look. They were getting into a rhythm, um, you know, and we showed them a different look um, with our zone, and, and that just took them out of it. I, you know, and we talked about just being more aggressive. I thought we were real tentative. You know, they were doing some things, doubling, you know, that I think made our, our kids a little cautious. Um, but, uh, you know, but, but yeah, I mean, that was a great run. I mean, it was, it was great going into the half, having that kind of momentum, um, you know. But, you know, credit Bradley. You know, they didn't give up, you know. And they got the best end of the stick. And then uh, not just Angela, but Courtney and uh, Kimmy. Uh, have you ever had to rely, or not had to rely, but used freshmen this much this early in the season before? Uh, you know, Tracy Edwards was a sure. kid that we used. You know, that helped take us to the 2006 NCAA's. But um, but yeah, I mean, Courtney it was great to have her back in the lineup. You know, and um, unfortunate though, you know, she got that fifth foul. I mean, we really could have used her down the stretch and. Um, but, you know, two impact players. I mean, Angela and she are impact kids. Um, and th this experience, a close game like this, is really going to help, help them grow and help our team get better.